Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. On today's video I will be creating this makeup look using some of the best luxury makeup releases of 2022 so far. Perhaps you have already watched my video of the best luxury makeup releases of 2022 so far. It's a mid-year check-in. So I decided to come back here and create the makeup look that I was wearing on that video. I perhaps am not going to be talking too much about all the makeup because I already <laughs> have all the details of why I like this makeup on that video. So if you haven't watched it yet, um, I will highly suggest you to do so because there's more makeup that obviously the makeup that I will be able to put on my face right now. But let's go ahead and get it started first with... SPF, the Silk Sunscreen by Tatcha. This is ideal to go under makeup. It doesn't blow up. It doesn't create any kind of cast or shadow. It's just very beautiful, delicate, elegant, and it doesn't add a tint. Although it looks like as it has a tint, but it doesn't. It's very liquidy. And it doesn't leave you with a glow or a sheen on your skin. In other words, it doesn't alter your foundation. Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Primer. This is ideal if you want to fade a little bit in large pores, fine lines, but mostly if you want longevity for your makeup. And another thing too is, although it says it's soft matte, is not gonna truly mattify so much your skin. I do have not only large pores, fine lines, but I also have dry skin on the perimeters of my face and a little bit more combination skin right here in the middle where I have my large pores. Number one de Chanel. Going with my beauty sponge. Lady Paul Concealer Stick Brow Pencil by Florasis Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel Now I'm going to spread the concealer with this Pat McGrath brush I'm going to set my concealer with Westman Atelier Vital Press Skincare Powder in the shade Pink Bubble Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm using Chanel Kabuki Brush just to warm up the complexion Chanel Water Fresh Blush in the shade Warm Pink and I'm using a Laura Mercier Blush Brush Chanel Oversized Healthy Glow Sun Kiss Powder in the shade Sun Kiss Medium. And I'm going to use a Sonia G Face Pro brush. Tom for Eclat Nu. And I'm going to go first with this shade here and I'm going to apply it in the front of the cheek just to set the Chanel blush and then I'm going to go to this shade over here and I'm just going to drape it a little 
I'm gonna set the center of my face with Westman Atelier Vital Press Skincare Powder in the shade Creme. And I'm using a Sonia G Inoshige Pro Brush. And I'm using a Sonia G Mini Cheek Brush. Shante Kai Sunbeam Cheek and Eye Shade is more of a luminizer. It gives this translucency aura of radiance from your skin. Not a true, true highlighter, which is something that I love. Now I'm gonna go with a true highlighter, but I'm not gonna put it over top this beauty right here. But I just wanna take it a little bit higher up, just a tiny bit. And it is by Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Multi Glow in the shade dream light and i'm just gonna use this deeper shade right here and take it on the top it just adds a little bit of like a bronze kind of finish that is just very very ethereal I also want to bring forward this area of my face and a little bit right here. So I'm going to go with my Florasi Face Palette. And I'm going to go to this shade right here. And this is a Sonia G Inoshige Pro Brush. And this palette basically is a contour palette. I have a full on demo on this palette. It's just stunning. Do you see how with such a little amount, it doesn't modify, it doesn't change the finish of your foundation, of your products, but it just, oh, there's so dimension on this palette and it's just so stunning, the embossing, but the formula, the performance of the formula, that's what is incredible. This was a hard decision, but I think I'm gonna go with Tom Ford Tiger Eye. Refer 15 brush and I'm taking this shade and applying it all over the crease. Refer 01 brush and I'm taking this shade on the outer third. Sonia G Builder Pro and I'm taking this shade and applying it from the inner portion of my eyelid all the way until it meets with the topi shade Smith 253 brush and I'm gonna go to the lighter shade and I'm gonna apply it right on the center of the eyelid Sonia G Soft Definer, and I'm going to the deeper shade. And by the way, when you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure Sonia G has restock this beautiful Lotus brush set. Wrapper O2 brush, and I'm taking this shade on the lower lash line. Sonia G Flat Definer and going to the deepest shade and placing it very very close to the lower lash line. Refer 03 brush and I'm gonna go to Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Multi Glow in Dream Light and I'm gonna go to D shade and I'm just gonna place it on my inner corners And also on my brow bone. This is not new, but 
you know, I love it. My roller liner by Benefit in brown. Isum Da Mascara. Love that it provides with definition, length, volume. It really fans out my lashes. Hourglass Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in the shade Cave. And I'm going to apply it on my waterline. Chanel Ref de Camellia and with this beauty I'm gonna go ahead and use the brush that comes included with it and I'm gonna buff my makeup and yes I'm not afraid of it because this is not really a highlighter but rather a luminizer No glitter, no shimmer. To lock my makeup, my trusty Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Now for lipstick. That's my ordeal right there because I love lipstick so much. So I think it's just fair if I just give you just a few options. Let's do that. Why not? Sisley Fito Rouge Shine in Sheer Nude 10. Hourglass Phantom Lipsticks in the shade Trace. My glass, so wet, juicy lips. Dior Attic in the shade Mimi Rose. Merit and the shade Sleep. what a unique shade it's not your typical nude it does have a little bit of beige in it lovely pat mcgrath satin allure in negligee let's move to isum dual lip pencil in the shade nude and i'm gonna go with a lighter tone And Victoria Beckham Beauty Posh Gloss in the shade Tan Line. My favorite fragrance at the moment, Lubimar Eau de Parfum Légère by Christian Louboutin. An ideal fragrance for summertime honestly it's just beautiful lemon simple very simple lemon sea salt as top notes middle note tuberose base note mask the mask anchors the fragrance the lemon and the sea salt represents the beautiful breeze of the ocean and then the tuberose is not your intoxicating white floral no it is that morning dew of a tuberose this fragrance is exquisite 
and also the lemon is nothing like I don't have anything again Dolce Gabbana light blue I like the fragrance but some people find that fragrance a little bit sometimes too tart too strong the lemon too it's just a little too much this is not the case well well balanced this is I already said it. it's my summer fragrance now okay my friends and this makes it for this video this is the makeup look that I achieved using some of the best luxury makeup releases of 2022 definitely they are more if you haven't watched my video where I showcase all of the ones that I consider the best luxury makeup releases of the year so far please go ahead and watch it after you watch this video thank you so much for being here i hope that you enjoyed it let me know which of these products you perhaps already have or you have them on your wish list let me know which products i should be trying next and let's just continue the conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my instagram if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye